Hey Zach, what's up? Good. Where are we going today? The Battleship! Cove? Battleship Cove. Yeah. Fall River Mass. Yeah. Gonna have some fun. It's a free Friday. So we're gonna see if it's really free. That's the first step. Yeah. What do you think? Good. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's a machine gun or something. It looks like it's from like Rambo or something. Looks like that might be a PT boat. That is, that's a PT boat. That's like a small. Yeah, I'm gonna go out. Yeah, that's one of the. That's a small World War II ship. Okay. All right, man. Take it easy on these stairs. Right here. It's like right up there. No, like right here. Come on. That's where the crew went. Yeah, you can look right into it. Yeah. That's the galley. Yep, so that's the kitchen. Yeah. That is the officer's mess. That's what it says. I don't know if that means mess hall, but. Pretty cool? Okay. That's the PT-617. That's the engine room. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Go slow. I know you are. That's the crew quarters again. Yeah, that's where they slept. Also, there's kitchen. See how small that bed is? That's a table, yep, so kitchen. PT-796. That's the officer's quarters. The officers were the ones that were in charge. Gas tanks are over here. Looks like this is the engine, engine room. Yeah, yep. the engine room. This is the same room. What? Yeah. Gas tanks. Well, it takes gas. Crew quarters. What are the crew quarters? That's like the normal people. That's where they, they slept. They had more crew quarters. I don't know what that means, Lazarette. We'll check that up later. Yeah, no. You don't go on top. This is PT-796, they have, they have numbers to identify them and it tells you it was bit, built and decommissioned and all that stuff, so. All right, let's do it. This is a trainer plane for world. That's called a T-28, it's a train, train military pilots. Let's go. Keep going. Go oh, right near the bridge where I that's, go to school. That's Braga Bridge. Zach travels over that every morning to go to school. Yeah, always. You can actually go on it. Yeah. This is the USS Joseph P. Kennedy Jr. Cool. See his big gun in front of you? That's oh, a huge gun. All right, show us around. Just make sure you're walking, okay? You wanna go in? Yeah. This was the post office for the ship. All right. These things used to be out at sea and stuff. Months, uh, months and years at times. Okay. What do you think, man? Yeah, 
Yeah, they're not built for comfort. Why? This is a battleship, dude. They don't build these for comfort. They're not like, hey, would you like a slushy? They don't do those things. Here we go. I got your Morse code machine over there. Typewriter. Files. Engineering office. That's great. Test. Yep. In all these years, the iPad hasn't changed much, though. <laughs> this is the supply department office. These are all offices. So if people need stuff, they have to go through that office. Is it office? Yeah. This is the Ship's office. It is super dark down there. Do not go down there. That is the it says engine room, one of one, two of two. That is dark. They don't let you down there for a good reason. Here's the laundry room. You got a lot of laundry because they got a place for it. There's a lot. Those are things to wash clothes and stuff. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's super cool. Super cool. Hey, what's in here? That is the repair locker. Coffee cup locker. That's what it says. This is the electronics parts issue, so if you need parts for electronics, they're in here. Great. It had all the appliances and fixtures needed to feed a destroyer crew of over 200 men. This is the kitchen. Or out the door here. You want to go up? All right. One step at a time. Captain's cabin or the division commander's stateroom. So this is their room. Oh. This is where the commander would go. Short room. This is like nautical maps and stuff, I believe. Yep. This is the electric room, I think, with the radios and stuff. I think those are radios. Okay. Here's the radar room. This is like, I don't know what tech, your technology this is for. It's not up to today's standards. Radio room. Captain's sea cabin. Big bubbler here, which I don't know is the result of the ship. And then the front here is where they drove the ship. That's a uh, intercom. Look where they drove the ship. That's what drove this thing right in. Cool. There's the carousel. It's over there. We might go on that. Maybe. That looks to be like some type of missile launcher right there. I don't know, a crane? Oh, this, load, this loads uh, torpedoes or something. I don't know, that's definitely a type of torpedo or something. That might, might no, that might be a missile. That might load the missiles in there. Those look to be torpedoes. This is the torpedo stowage. This is where they would fire, they'd have the torpedoes that they fire for war in here. But you can't go in. All right, let's look at it. Yep. Hey, watch your step. This is the torpedo room. See that? Look at the torpedoes, bud. Except for this room, they want you to see this. Okay, they tell you what it is right here. This is an anti-submarine helicopter. So they used to take those and launch the torpedoes from the helicopter. Oh. Pretty cool. So they, this is the actual helicopter. That's what it is. That's the helicopter that can drop torpedoes. They let you go in the kitchen. Food processing. Sink. This is gonna be a freezer. It looks like this is a kind of 
This is the mess hall. Come over here. You can guys step over this. They would eat in here and play games and stuff. And then they have food court, you can't go down there, but that's one place that people used to sleep. Okay. And salt. And salt. And napkins. Mailbox. Watch out over here. Ford Crude's head. Pantry and passage. Stateroom, and we're gonna go up. USS Joseph P. Kennedy done. How'd you like it? Cool. All right. All right. This is the USS Massachusetts, 1942 to 47. All right, go on that side. Straight up. Get on that gun up there. Go up here. Be careful because it could be hot for the sun. Yeah. Sixteen-inch gun. Woo. Yeah. Remember when I told you the Japanese attacked Hawaii? These are the guys that died that were from Massachusetts. That's where you fire the gun. It tell you have to put in all this stuff, like angles and stuff. They'll tell you how, where to fire, and then they'll and then you fire the missiles from it. Yeah. But you can't do that for real, because that's what my the old days. This is from World War II. Okay. This is one of the turret guns. Yeah. See those knobs that you turn? Yep. You turn it to whatever they told you to turn it to, and then they say fire, and you fire. Nope, they had fans and vents. All right, let's go this way. Whoa! See, this is a World War II battleship. This is a little older than the one we already went on. Got it? Okay. That could mean that, like, you know, they're under attack or something, but usually that's a red one. Uh, dude, there's a loft on that door. These are where the people slept. You notice that they have a lot more space in these little ones. They care just a little bit more. I don't know what that is. That could be confidential, because it's... No, I'm kidding. More crew quarters. Yeah, cool. Look at that bubble there. Yeah, that's where people slept for months hey, to years at a time. Oh, look, there's fire alarm. Yeah, that's because they're probably quite down fire alarm, but I don't think that's original to the ship. Why? That's, I saw that on the YouTube video. Because they probably say fire, fire, if there's a fire on the ship. Yeah. yeah. Here's a map. Here's a map of the USS Massachusetts. Well, that's because this is the ship that was built and named after the state we live in. Oh, yeah, look, there's one right there. Yeah, that's not original to the ship. Oh, hey, look, it's beds. They're pretty big, you know, considering that they're on the ship. I just got to say that. It's the junior officer's quarters. So there were several search lights. Hey you, gonna stay with me? Okay, all right. 
right? It's communications rule stuff. All well, communications about the ship. Look, this is how they communicate about the ship, but. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they latch them down because of people like you. So, yeah. They thought about them. They latched them down. Mm -hmm. What does this do? Whoa, look at that. Does it? Yeah. That's because they have it locked. It closes this off. What were we thinking? Daddy? Yeah. Why is there holes in the bottom? Because if there's holes, then they would probably see it. It's also like trying to pipes with electrical wires. It's going to be awesome. It's probably disconnected. All right, let's go this way, bud. All right, go in here, though. Be patient. That's where they slow the ship from there, bud. See that wheel? That's what turns the ship. These are the navigation charts standing where they were going. Map room. Muster on deck. Cleaning up. And there's the chow about 7 or 7 30. Alright. Okay. Too much. Alright, this is the battle dressing station. So this is where injured crew members to sick bay. They served as temporary hospitals, these things. When people got injured because they were fighting, they'd bring them down here for temporary hospitals. All right, keep going. Watch your step, okay? Can't go in there, bud. It looks like radios. This is the VHF radio room. Ship to air and ship to shore communications. Yeah, control from the Combat Information Center. Six, six decks below. Interesting. All right. And then how about this? This says the radar room. This is where they had anti-aircraft directors located right above the bridge port and starboard. And they would pick up enemy ships and stuff like that with the radar equipment. Okay. Here's the ship's captain. Captain, sea cabin. So this is where the cat. This is where the captain, the guy in control, slept and stuff. And this is the navigation room again. So. Hi. Are you a weapon of mass destruction? No. Oh, okay. Sure. This, this is one of those guns you already went in. Rescue boat. What do we think? We can fit this boat? Yeah. Could fit probably about like a hundred Zachary's in there, huh? Okay. Careful. Woo! And this is the thing that lowered it into the water. I and mean, you have to get off the ship fast. Those are some big guns. Look at that. Look at that guns things, man. You want, that's a 40 millimeter. You want to try that puppy out? All right. So Zach's man in the guns here. Hey, show us your guns. Hey, 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 show us your guns. Yeah, showing the guns. And I mean the regular guns as well. 40 millimeter. Aim through there, man. So, 
people went to go storm the beaches on this thing. Imagine having to wait here and you're all worried about going on the beach. Crazy, huh? Watch your step. The USS Lionfish Submarine SS-290. Okay, where's the entrance? We're gonna go inside the belly of the lionfish. It's a submarine, it's not built for comfort, right? It's a torpedo right next to you. Don't don't kick the torpedo. Thank you. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. What is you have to wait? Yeah, that thing's meant to destroy ships. Don't touch the torpedo. Stop tapping the torpedo. Yep, you see that over there? That's where you loaded the torpedoes. That's where you fired them from. Uh, they had detonators on the front. So, see the yellow area? Somewhere in that nose, there's a detonator. Oh, sorry. Six torpedo tubes. Ten reloads were stored in racks. Bunks and lockers for approximately 16 men. So some people slept right near the torpedoes. Yeah, imagine having to sleep up there. No, man? You can't go in the torpedo room. Because then they'll fire you out of the submarine. I don't know, man, but they'll find a way. Thank you. Take care of that. You know, one foot, then the other. One foot, then the other. There you go. Go slow. <coughs> Kitchen. Zappery. Dining room. Say hi to everybody. How's it feel to be on a submarine? Hey, 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 hey. Very good. And super small. small. This is the, the eating area. Some bread. I see some bread. Franklin Delano Roosevelt's up there. That is a navigation slash sleeping room. So they have a navigational chart there. What's this? Oh, this looks like it's the dining room still. Yeah, it's too big. Oh, that's small, huh? Wow, this is really small. Radio here. Here's another place to sleep. There's three people in that room. Imagine that, sleeping three people in there. That little machine would be hooked up to Morse code. And that's how they would communicate with people. All right, be very careful. One foot, then the other. <laughs> Going through a porthole. <laughs> All right, dude. This is navigation. This showed you dead reckoning. So that you know where you had to go. This is the wheel steering the boat. Engine room. That is. I don't know, man. That might be a pressurizer for the submarine. That's what I'm guessing. That's the main hatch right there. See that thing that we were up in, up there? That's that main hatch. That's where you come down. Yep. All right, come here. 
air filters because when you're underwater you have to have air that recirculates through the cabin. Radar. Yeah. Radar transmitter. And this is old technology because nowadays this one. This is the radio room. This is actually the communications room. See they have typewriters and stuff. Alright. One foot and then the other, sir. That's the battery. Kitchen again. Are you sitting in the here? Yeah. For the cool aid. Wow. We eat 24 at, a, 24 at a time. The gallon you can get, all the meals from the entire crew are prepared right there. And uh, also the refrigerator and uh, freezer are down here in this little hatch. It's called the cool room. You see that? It's cool. cool room on there. Down here, this hatch will open up, and down there is the freezer and the uh, uh, refrigerator. Cool box. Okay? And, uh, so uh, the submarine did two walk patrols in 1945 from Pearl Harbor. And uh, the next room you go into uh, section is uh, an open space. There used to be 36 bunks in the next space there. Hear that? Well, it's very open there. there. 36 um, people used to sleep next door to this. Okay. But uh, the bunks were removed wow. back in 1960 when this became a training submarine in Providence. I got it. And so they have desks in there, like high school desks, you know, for training on the weekend. Cool. Yeah. I'd love to put a few bunks back in here just to show people that that's what happened. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Thank you for your service. One, one, do one, one can do. Oh, yeah. They used to be a Yes. Yes, they did. Okay. <laughs> Oh, thank you, sir. All right, let's check this out. This is where 36 people actually slept. They had used to have cots and beds in here. 36. They had an ice cream machine. No way. Look at that. It says ice cream machine. Wait, let's turn it on. No, you can't turn it on. They turn it off. But listen, they used to have cots and beds in here. 36 people slept in here. Imagine that. And there's an ice cream machine. Yeah, Highlight of the day. Okay, bud. That's a plaque. See the people that are still on patrol for World War II. In other words, they didn't make it. So that is a washing machine. Laundry. Right Sink right there. This is I don't know. Ballast. This looks like an engine actually. Yeah. I think that looks like an engine. Good job. <laughs> Those are the engines. Yeah. So this this turned the propeller on the end of the ship to make it go forward. <laughs> what is this? Doing? Famous last words. Suddenly we're out to sea, right? Yeah. That's an engine thing. All right, let other kids have a chance too, okay? So that was the engine room. This looks like a valve. Because you have to pressurize the submarine before you go into water or else you get crunched. Hey, you want the master switch? Stop, run, start. Yeah, they're not going to let you touch that because they don't want the ship to take off. That's a diesel engine. Runs on diesel. That's another one. They had they had a lot of engines, but oh no, that's it. We're gone. We're gone. We're out to sea now. Oh boy. I don't know. I mean, if we're out to sea at the end, then we know that it works. All right. One leg, then the other. Well, see, if one compartment flooded, they could close the doors and seal it off. You get what I'm saying? And hopefully still survive. 
These, I think, are the ballasts. This is where they would store the water to go down and up. Come on, there's a toilet right here. This is interesting. There's oh, okay. a toilet. We found no, where the toilet is. See that? Hi, Wes. You see this? This is the starter for the engines. What you doing? Hi. Hello, it's starting up. That's, this goes reverse. That starts the engine. This is the generator for power. This is the battery. You know the generators? Standby starter, hey, standby the, reverser. How about starting? That was a good one. That was a good one. I give you credit on that one. Okay, everybody, we're underwater. We're underwater? Yeah. yeah. Let's see here. Okay. Uh, fire oh, fighting on the floor. <laughs> torpedo room. So that's the aft torpedo room. It might be the front. I don't remember where we are. All right, one step at a time. Let's go, sir, out of the lionfish. No. Let's go check out the gift shop. You gotta check out the gift shop? Yeah. Right, come over here for a second though. Let's get you in front of the tra trainer plane. All right, so what do you think of Battleship Cove? Good. You think we should come back sometime? Be with mommy and your sister? Which goes a little older? All right, where do you want to go next? Um, I want to go to the gift shop. All right, let's go hit the gift shop. AH-15 Cove, Vietnam. We're in the gift shop. Zach's picking out a snack after a long Grueling walk through battleships and submarines. Yeah. All right, look around. You got a lot of stuff here. Yeah, I'm gonna look around. Okay. Some more candy over here. So you get a magnet for your car. You get a baseball for how much? Six ninety nine. Got the figures and stuff. Collectible coin from Battleship Cove. How much is that? Fifteen dollars. It's a challenge coin. Okay. This is the best day ever. Best day ever. All right, man. Here we go. On the carousel. Enjoy. Bye. 